Now it has been a year since the Taliban seized back power in Afghanistan. Since then, the country has witnessed a lot of changes. Despite making humanitarian promises, the Taliban is sticking to its ways. Many sections of people in Afghanistan, especially women, are facing a range of restrictions. Some of them are very oppressive. Here is a report on Afghanistan under the Taliban regime. Take a look. Sixteen-year-old Karishma Rashidi was in ninth grade when the Taliban took power in August last year. She has not been able to go to school since. The Taliban has backtracked on their promise to keep high schools open for girls in March 2022. They said that the schools would remain shut till new plans were drawn up in accordance with Islamic laws. However, Rashidi has not given up on education. She is now attending a private education center for girls. I want to become a successful journalist in the future. I would love to serve my country and education is my basic human right. I want to continue my education so I can convey the miseries of other women to the authorities. The Taliban has allowed some private education centers for girls to remain open. However, they must first obtain permission from the Justice Ministry. This is similar to what was laid down during their previous stint in government. The Taliban was in power in Afghanistan between 1996 and 2001. During that period, they banned education and employment for women. While some continue to accept these laws and changes, others are fighting for their rights. Monessa Mubarez, she used to work for the finance ministry. However, she lost her job when the Taliban took over. Since then, she has organized 17 street protests demanding rights for women. We will raise our voices against every injustice until our last breath. We will stand against all the tyranny imposed by the Taliban on the people of Afghanistan, especially on women of Afghanistan. Women's rights have taken a major hit in the country since the Taliban took over. They have imposed new curbs on their clothes, movement and occupation. They have also imposed restrictions on media outlets. Afghanistan had over 20,000 women police officers in the country. However, most of them were sacked by the Taliban. Now, only a fraction of them remain and they have been tasked with managing women's prisons. Afghanistan's economy is in deep crisis. To make matters worse, Afghanistan is being denied international aid and its reserves in the United States and other countries have been frozen since the Taliban took over. The Taliban's crackdown on jobs has pushed Afghan families deeper into poverty. Bureau report, we are Wild is One.